This episode is sponsored by Established Titles. Welcome back to another Guggen Squad episode. Big bass are coming. Oh, he's stuck. Oh, he came off. No, I still got it. Oh, he's wrapped. Oh, oh what? Oh, grab it! Grab it, dog! I have never seen a largemouth bass of this size jump into a boat. I'm on. Oh, gosh. I'm on, on. It's big. It is big. It could be the biggest fish of my life, buddy. Welcome back to another Duda Squad episode, folks. Today I'm joined by these two young men right Hello. here. Hello. These two boys right here are gonna be joining myself and three other Guggen Squad members that are gonna be joining us later on in today's video to do a 2v2v2 two -V2 -V2 mm. roulette budget fishing challenge mm. here at Bass Pro Shops. So we have a roulette wheel with $25, $100, and $500. Okay. Myself, Ayo, and Lojo are team captains. And That's then right. we'll spin another roulette wheel to figure out the team partners once we're at the pond. That's right. And we mm -hmm. have Rackley, Yak Pack, and One mm -hmm. Rod that will be teamed up with one of each of us. I'm That's right. Rackley. That's right. And we're gonna, what'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> Take a moment, notice the new merch right here. We got this beautiful camo performance gear. Shirt of the month. Shirt of the month right there. Supporting Bucks, got the new hat right here, folks. We are decked out. This new stuff is live right now at GoogleSquad.com. You gotta go check it out. Use your favorite creator's code to get 10% off. Let's spin the wheel, Norm. All right, all right. Rock, rock, paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Oh, oh! So I gotta go first. But that could times. be bad because $25 is still on here. So, right. all right, I'm gonna give it a spin. Uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh-oh, it's not 25 though. Oh, okay. It's 100, 100. It's a, That's I'll not take bad. it. That's not bad at all. So all right, I'm, you spin. Wow. Come on, 25. Come on. Come on. That was a hell of a spin there, yeah, buddy. Yeah, dude, we are gonna be here for years. Oh, that's 500. Oh, no. That's 500. Oh, no. That's 500, baby. <laughs> okay, so it's been decided. $25 for my team, $100 for Norm's team, yes. 500 for the man in the camo. Woo! I've been on a roll, dude. You are <laughs> right. I've owned one lately. All right, so now that we have our budgets, let's go into the store, kind of strategize on our own how to best utilize our money. I've got the most work to do by far. $25, holy moly. Later on in this video, we're gonna be heading out to L&M Golf Retreat, which has one of the best private lakes in Texas. Me and Norm have been there, and the biggest fish caught by the team is gonna be the winner. I cannot wait. You guys ready? I'm so ready. Let's go spend some money, boys. All right, so I've got the most strategizing to do out of both the guys. I got $25 for baits out of Trophy Bass Lake. That's not exactly ideal, but one thing I know, because the ranch owner and I talked yesterday, and he said the water was dirty. And one thing I think of when I think of dirty water is a jig, right? Something big, big profile, gives the bass something to key in on. So I'm gonna go with a couple half ounce heavy cover finesse style jigs. Now notice it's heavy cover, but finesse. So it's like a smaller profile because there's kind of a cold water change going on right now, but there's two of them in the pack. That is crucial because if I break one off, I'll have an extra. All right, so I think I've found the next lure. If, I'm, if you're not gonna go like with a jig in dirty water, what I like to do is something extra long, right? Like a magnum style worm, if you will, like a Guggenbaits Mondo worm. 10 inches, black and blue, nice dark profile. It's got that ribbon tail that just kind of, it almost swims. So that's six bucks. This was seven. So I'm at 13 right now. I feel like I'm doing pretty good. Now, as far as the trailer goes for the jigs, I can't think of anything better than a crack and crawl. But the color of this one is what's so special. Notice that purple in there, right? So you got the green pumpkin, then you got the purple on the other side. Scientists say, and this is straight from Dr. Norm here, and he is a scientist, okay? Scientists say that bass can only see a couple colors anyways, and purple, for some reason, is one of those colors that they can see really well. Don't know if that's true or not, but are you telling me right now that this is not gonna go on these just perfectly? I mean, that's gonna be an amazing presentation. It's probably gonna get thumped. This is a little bit of inside information. I'm not sure if any of these guys know about it. So I know the lake record was recently broken and it was over 12 pounds on a crankbait. In fact, I'm pretty sure it was on a clutch. So I don't see any clutches here. I don't think they have them here at this Bass Pro, but what they do have are the bangers, baby. And a banger essentially can kind of do the same thing as a clutch, can kind of. It's not exactly the same thing, it's not what I'm saying, but this little clutch right here is one of my favorite colors. It's got that, that extra little chartreuse on the side because the water is dirty. That's gonna be very helpful. 
So between the big lures that I have that represent like a, a large focal point for the bass and the loud lure that I have, which is the crankbait, I think I've done about as good as you can do with $25. Now I'm a little jealous because AO's never been to this lake and he got a $500 budget, so he gets to go hog wild. But I feel like for 25 bucks, can you really beat this? We'll see. All right, guys, it is my turn. I'm gonna spend $100 on fishing lures. And first off, I wanted to kind of switch it up and try something crazy. So there's a ton of big tilapia out here and a ton of big shad. So what I'm gonna do is try a massive flutter spoon. I don't know, I'm kind of liking this one. I don't know, it's just a Bass Pro flutter spoon. And we'll get a couple of these, just a couple of different colors, just to try and see. And that will be about $15. So last time me and Lozier were out here, there was three techniques that worked. One was a trench hog, number two was the clutch, and number three was jig. So right here at the trench hog section, they're saying the water's super dirty, so I'm gonna go for mainly darker colors this whole entire time. We're gonna go with the black and blue flake, and what's nice about this, guys, is the trench hog moves a ton of water already with the appendages on it. It has four on the side and then two on the back. It moves a ton of water, so great for dirty water conditions. So trench hog is gonna be lure choice number two. So the tough part about this is I don't know who my teammate's gonna be because there's three different options. So I'm trying to think about what everybody likes to fish with. So I'm gonna kind of get a wide variety because I have $100 to do so. So we're gonna try a spinner bait. I feel like as long as we have some moving baits, some baits we can hop off the bottom, just a little bit of variety, we should be good no matter what the conditions are. So I always like to go white and chartreuse with my spinner baits. So we'll just try this one out right here. I'm gonna go with the top water splash, mix up the color a little bit, go with the midnight. And then we'll do a walking bait, but in the shad pattern. So we have two different colors, two different top water presentations, but these are my top two favorites. There's not a lot of lily pads or anything out here, so you can get these through anything. Gosh, I don't even know how much money I have. I feel like I'm at like 50 bucks. I don't know what else to spend it on. So here's what Lojo cannot afford is a net. These things are only $21. And I don't think, I mean, A with the $500, he might not even think about this. If we're doing a big fish tournament, we're gonna need a big old net. So I'm just gonna use this to carry all my lures. I think I got about $25 left. We might go find some snacks. The options are, there's so many. So we could, we have 25 bucks left. We could go with comfort and maybe have a little fishing pal. Like, you know what they say, once you get one fish in the boat, all the fish start coming, so. I it jumped in, it jumped into our boat. If we already bring the fish, the rest of the fish will want to come. I think that's what we're gonna do. But we gotta get Nemo. All right. This is what happens when you give Norm $100 of Guggen Squad money. You buy a net, $50 of random baits, and Nemo, $100 budget. Hope my teammate isn't disappointed in me. I guess it's A's turn. It's your turn, I'm done. I just peed in front of three dudes in a urinal. Oh, yeah. okay, my stage fright. Dude, nice. You know how I go in stalls. You, yeah, nice. Dude, that's big. Proud of you, man. I found a $380 pair of pliers, titanium. They're 10 ounces. It's like having a freaking Glock on your hip at all times and it comes with a leather holster. I'm really excited about them, but I don't want to buy them. I might just get a reel, but I want to show you guys. Is that not the most ridiculous thing you've ever seen? 10 ounces, dude. 300, a pair of pliers. A pair of pliers. I got 500 bucks, but I don't know. It's just too much. Yeah, that's her. That is her. All right, we have a Shimano DC. One of my favorite reels, SLX DC, for all you tech geeks at home. I need baits, that was $190. We have $310 to go. So, I've never been to where we're fishing today. I have heard about it, seen videos. I wanna break my PB so bad, I'm not gonna lie. My PB is seven pounds, 15 ounces, which I know is not a lot if my profession's bass fishing, but didn't ask. I'm gonna start out with a Mondo worm. I want something to get down there in the deep water and just really move some water around. First lure, six bucks. Also, I'm a jig guy, so I want to get as many jig trailers as I can. Feels so good being the guy with the big budget. Does every single time. When in Rome, one of every color, trench hog. I really want them to get noisy down there. I want something that's just tickling them in the face. Oh, dude. Also, little intel from the place we're headed. They've caught a 12-pounder and a 9-pounder in the last week on lipless cranks. Boom, gonna get as many as I can. They don't have any Guggen lipless, but we'll take what we can find. Matty B called me over, found a $20 kit of lipless cranks. Never hurts to be budget friendly. Also, walking baits. Also, holy smokes though. I've never even seen one that big. Lunker logs, get something down there. Bandito bugs. Wonker logs, wonkers, saucy swimmers, saucy, saucy, 
All right, so if I had to guess, probably just spent $150 plus the reel. So we're sitting at a cool 190 plus 150. Just because just because you have the most lures doesn't mean you'll always have them. Lure retriever, baby. Thing reaches 18 foot down into the depths. I heard there's trees out in the middle of this lake where the big ones hide. That's where everybody fishes. Now, not only will I have the most, but I'll keep the most. All right, so we've got our stuff. A $25 budget, $100 budget, $500 budget. Wow. Bags. Man. Okay. Big bags. Now it's time to link up with the rest of our teammates yes. and uh, see who's going to win this thing. You feel pretty confident, boys? I'm very confident. I already have a fish. And, and you have net. a net, too. So I feel like you're doing pretty good. You pretty confident? Yeah, I am. You and got I got a lot a of reel. stuff. I'm pretty pumped about the reel. Let's go. I have a basket with four things in it. I'll see you guys in the water. This episode is sponsored by Established Titles. Established Titles is a fun and unique way to preserve the natural woodlands of Scotland while helping the global reforestation efforts. So it's a project based on a historic Scottish customs where you guys and gals can be either a laird, a lord, or a lady. Yes, that's in English. Title packs give you guys at least one square foot of dedicated land on a private estate inside of Edelston, Scotland, and an official certificate with a crest. So your certificate will feature a unique plot number. You guys can actually get the exact location of your land. They will then plant a tree with every single order and work with global charities, one tree planted and trees for the future to support the global reforestation efforts. You can also officially change your name, Lord or Lady, and you also can get it on your credit card, plane tickets, even your dating profiles. Yes, your dating profiles. It makes for a great last minute gift, and you could even have a couple of packs that come with adjoining plots of land. Yes, you could be touching tip to tip plots of land. So the first 200 people that purchase a title pack using my link, it will effectively be next to my plot within a few minutes of walking distance, depending on how many of you guys become a lord and or a lady, we can actually build our own kingdom. Yes, if you wanna build a, a nether region kingdom, I'm here for you. So Established Titles is running a massive early Black Friday sale right now. Plus, if you guys use my code Guggen, you get an additional 10% off. So go to EstablishedTitles.com forward slash Guggen to get your gifts now and help support the channel. Yes, go to EstablishedTitles.com forward slash Guggen to get your gifts right now. Save 10%. I know some of you guys out there are going to want to do this. Who does not want to be a lord or a lady and say they own some land in Scotland and get this beautiful certificate right there? Lord Robert Turkla. Why would you not want that in your life? Well, it would say your name, not mine, but you get what I'm saying. Click the link in the very top description. Go check out EstablishedTitles.com forward slash Guggen to save 10% off. Hey, snag one of these. It'll be a great, great gift for your family. All right, guys, we have made it out here to L&M Golf Retreat, ready to do some fishing. But first, we have to determine our team. So since I had the least amount of budget and I'm probably going to fail, mm. I'm going to spin first. All right, well, you guys you. ready? I don't want you. I'm probably going to get I, you. I don't blame you guys at all. <laughs> you definitely don't want to be on my team, especially with the wind the way it is. But here we go. Ooh, noise oh, wow. on everything. Oh, wow. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, 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 Team nursing home, it's kind of fitting, but uh, wow. Okay, so $25 budget, I don't have much. Awesome. We'll work with it, We got okay? one worm weight or what? <laughs> got one worm weight, two packs of Guggen baits and a jig. Gonna be a struggle. Uh, here you go, buddy. You had the $100 budget, so you can spend oh, okay. that. All right, one rotter yak pack, $100 budget. Oh, oh, it's gonna be close, it's gonna be close. Oh, it looks like one rod. Oh, oh, it's oh, one rod. There we go. All right, we got this, dude. We got nice. this, we got this. All right, so we're gonna do a one hour time limit here. Biggest bass wins. The lake record was just set a couple weeks ago at 12 pounds. Wow. That was just set a couple weeks ago. Oh, might God. get broken. There's a few guys here that PBs might get broken. Stay tuned. Let's go fish. Give me something good. Give me something moving that looks like a shad. Okay, so well, off the rip we have a spinner bait. Okay, I like that. So, I'm down with that. That's pretty good. Well, the, the main problem is I spent most of our budget on a pet fish. Bro! So... Well, I'm using it as bait. Where is it? <laughs> Where is it? Where is our fish? I don't know. Hey, we have a massive fish. Well, let me live line that sucker. <laughs> this is the sauce. Okay, The Texas okay. trick, they were eating the trench hog better than any bait we threw oh. out here in four days. So, All right. this is good. Dude, you blew $100 in the most random stuff I've ever seen. Okay, I got two more spoon. Somebody oh. might have rated our. Oh, yeah, I got top water. Uh, bro, we're fishing in one inch visibility. Uh, give me one of those spoons. Epic. Give me one of those spoons, bro. Oh we're my spooning gosh. all night. Norm may, it may not be the best with his money when it comes to budget, but I'm going to try throwing spinnerbait, shad imitation, and this is also shad imitation. The water is very dirty. 
We'll see what happens. Yeah, you weren't with let, me. Let me see what all you got. Yeah, we were not there. Okay, I was not anticipating the hurricane winds. Yeah. But got a lot of topwater spooks. I don't think they're gonna be very effective. No, not today. Got a lot of big saucies. Okay. The cool thing though, the other, other teams don't have, is we have a ton of things that are gonna make a lot of ruckus down there. I like being an underdog, you know what I mean? I like coming in there with like, you know, just a couple lures and confidence. It's really confidence is your best lure. I like it, dude. I like it. Oh, yeah, we're rolling. Let's get him, Norm. Boys, we starting? Tight lines, boys. Texas Rick's going to be a little hard today, I feel like. Oh! It's coming off. Oh, I, I have one. Got him. There we go. <laughs> Oh, he's not that big. He's not that big, but it's a start. It's a start, dude. Oh, we'll <laughs> Let's go. Dude, look at my second cast. The trolling motor came off of the front of the boat. This place is magical. Here we go. Well, dude, that's not going to win it. We we don't even have a scale on the boat, do we? So if we catch a big one, we'll have to like go get yeah, somebody's we'll, scale. We'll keep it alive. We don't need to weigh that, though. It's probably like a one, one and a half pounder, maybe. Good job. Nice. See you, buddy. Oh, that's number one, boys. Team one round of Norman in the lead. Let's go. Yes, sir. I'm on. Oh, I'm on. Oh, I'm on. Not huge, I don't think. Not a monster. On, on, let's go. Yeah, we'll take it, though. It's bending, though. Just it's play, bending. Play it yeah, yeah. Giants out here. Yeah, it's not a giant. I mean, it's I not a giant. It's not a giant, bro. It's not? It's good though. It's yeah. a good fish. Let me know if you need my help. What'd you catch it on? Is that the... Oh, oh shoot, that's not okay. <laughs> it's a little bigger than I thought. Bro, get the net because we have trebles. Let's just, oh, get, let's just get her in the boat. Okay. Oh my gosh, bro. This boat is so <laughs> unsteady. They use this boat on purpose. All right. All right, here's my leader. Let's play it. I do have trebles, so we don't know exactly how well she's... Oh, oh yeah, not bad. Not bad. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Nice. Dude, look how pale. The... Dude, look. This fish has no color. Dang, bro. Dude, that's not a bad one. We've got two so far. Got a nice one right off that point using a lipless crank. Norm's got one on the trench hogs. Oh, dude, they're schooling on bait. Right oh, they're here. schooling. Yeah, oh, we gotta yeah, get, yeah, we gotta get back in there. Can. Oh, my gosh. Oh, here we go. I'm out. Woo! Fish number one for me. About two, two and a half pounds. Not gonna win, but I'm sure there's bigger ones out there. Whoop. Well, I think we're the only two people on the board so far. Yeah. I haven't seen anybody else catch a fish, so I think we're winning. But I don't think that fish that you caught is a good fish. I don't think it's gonna win. There's giants in here. <clears throat> Happens a lot on jigs. Yeah. Crawls. Oh god. <laughs> oh, that was decent. That was decent. Way up okay. there. <clears throat> There's another one too. Uh oh. Got you got, you got one. Nice fish, man. Get on the board, baby. Here we go. <laughs> we're on the board, okay? A little four pounder just to make sure. God, oh, what no, a, we're here. What a healthy one. That is a healthy fish. You took it three and a half, six inches of water. Comment down below how big you think that one is because we don't have a scale. Man, you think professional YouTubers at this point uh, would fix that, but it's at least a Heavy. three, probably over three and a half because of how fat it is. I'd leave it at that. Three, I'm gonna say three and three quarters. I like okay. where your head's at. Alrighty, everybody good with that? Crack and craw up shallow. Good fight, we're gonna let him go get another one. We're throwing some very similar items here. I mean, as soon as Rackley, I was cranking some, but as soon as Rackley got like two bites real quick in the brush in shallow water, in my mind, I know that's what we're gonna have to do from here on out to get those big bites. So I'm throwing a jig, crack and crawl, and I've had a bite too, so big bass are coming. It jumped into our freaking boat. That doesn't even count. 
That doesn't count. Woo! Yeah, yeah! We caught him! <laughs> we caught that <laughs> Yeah! Let's go! Dude, it just. Woo! I never, watched, <laughs> I never dude, it just jumped in! A five pound bass just jumped into the boat. I've never, I've fished for so long. I've watched so many fishing videos. I've never seen a largemouth bass of this size jump into a boat. Bro, take your fish. <laughs> take that fish, baby. Let's go. Dude, that is absurd. <laughs> that has got to be, uh, that's got to go down in the fishing history books. That is the dude, craziest thing this. I've ever seen. Look at that. Look at the yeah. mouth on it. That's a five all day. That's a giant, dude. I mean, that, that we all have to agree is five. You're saying yeah, five? It's five. Yeah. It's five At all least. freaking yeah. day. Five pounder jumping Bro, you're in the a boat. legend. You're a gosh darn legend. <laughs> I'm here, we're looking at about 22 inches. 22 inch bass. <laughs> 22 incher. Let's go, baby. All right. Well, there we go, guys. Five pounder. Don't even got to use lures, man. Just got to use the intellect. <laughs> they are just come jumping in. I told you guys as soon as I bought that fish in the store that we were going to have fish jumping in the boat and what happened. Okay. If we already bring the fish, the rest of the fish will want to come. I think that's what we're going to do. But we got to get Nemo. I spoke it the truth. Manifestation. All right, I'm gonna let her go. Grow big and maybe get a little bit smarter. <laughs> See you oh, there's mine. There we go. Oh, he's, oh, he's stuck. No, oh, he came off. Oh, he, dro he dropped it before I said the word. No, I still got him. Okay. Oh, he's wrapped. Okay. We'll head right to him. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah, I just saw him again. Stop. I don't know if I have enough power to think. Nope. There you go. Freak, man. There you go. You have had it. Hey. Imagine though when they make something. Did you get a chip? I'm on. Oh gosh. I'm on on. It's big. It is big. It could be the biggest fish of my life, buddy. I don't I can't do nothing with it. Large! Okay. Large, okay. large, large! He's coming straight to us. I know. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. Oh my god, dude, it's huge. Huge, huge, huge. I, I'm telling you, like literally, he's gonna go on another run for sure. It's huge. Oh my God. Keep it down, keep it down, keep it down, keep it down. If you can bring him up just a little bit. I don't, the, I don't know if he's as big as I think he is, but he's large. I'm not gonna grab the line. Bring him right here. Woo! That's a buzzer beater. That's a buzzer beater. Oh, Are you kidding me? I thought it was bigger. Oh my God. <laughs> Let's go. Woo! $500. Oh That's what I was God. telling you guys. That's about the money you put in, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the more you spend, the bigger dude, the fish. more you spend, doesn't matter anything about experience, dude. Oh, baby. <laughs> right when we thought it was over. We were trolling back. I was like, dude, let me put out this lipless crank. Just see what happens. Absolutely annihilated me. Oh gosh, I'm shaking a little bit. Dude, uh, what, what, are you, what are we giving that one? Uh, it's 22 inches. I'm gonna say slightly over six, like just over six. I feel if I had to guess, that'd be a, look how thick his tail is. I mean, that's a hardy fish. That's a six, but it's just kind of skinny. If it was yeah. bigger, it could be bigger. Yeah. That made sense. That's but crazy. Give her a breath. Dude, when we were going, we were going full speed the other way. It hit and it felt so big. And when it jumped, I thought it was my PB for sure. Insane. From far out there, it did look like it's well pounder. I, was, I like, was like, oh my God. All right, we're gonna try to go show it to the boys, find a scale. Money, baby. Money team. Love money. Uh, oh, oh, damn. Dang. Oh, sure. Oh, God dang, I think y'all won. Y'all won. I think y'all. I don't know how big it is, but y'all definitely won. I think y'all won. No. Wait, no? No, ours is big. You said five. Ours is 
it's five, that's bro. That's a six plus. We call okay, it ours. Wait. Ours was then ours was a seven. I would say that. Hey, but the difference is, is we caught this, yeah. and y'all awesome. jumped in. That's one. also five. Yeah. That's yeah. also that's at least five. Yeah. 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 Look at that. Look at that. That's a six pound. Look at the brother. Now, there's a lot of things that have changed with this lake. I mean, the water level's down. It's super chocolate milky. So, and this is the first time we fished it for like two hours. So we haven't even figured out anything yet. Nothing. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed this two v two v two roulette challenge, which did me and Rackley dirty. But these guys were the beneficiaries of that. Yeah. Good job, gentlemen. Way to go. You guys oh, had man. some pretty exciting stuff yep, too. We Good did. job. Yeah. That was I like the awesome. sweaters. The matching sweaters really did it for me. <laughs> guys, subscribe to the channel. Check out the new merch, GoodGoodSquad.com. Use your favorite creator's code to get 10% off. Love you guys. See you next time.